Blood Cut Metal World, June 10, 2021. Still got it early in the morning. Uh, I have to do it before I take out for a few days. Anyway, this is um, S90V, 66 Rockwell. And it's very acute, uh, a sharpened at 15 degrees per side. Um, behind the edge thickness is about 7,000 of an inch. Really hard to get uh, to measure it because um, when I put in a micrometer in it, it, um, it actually dent, bend my sharpening level. But anyway, um, the steel uh, is uh, it's 90 V, I mean, would do better at 15 degrees per side. I mean, 18 degrees per side, or any high carbide volume one. But however, I mean, um, the kind of test I want to see the, when in contact with bone, this is poor rib bone here, and see how much damage it is. And by the way, between 15 degree and 18 degree, 18 degree is about 70 percent. Vol have, yeah, volume strength has more volume strength. That means it's stronger, 70 percent stronger. And so it's it's uh, when you compare or something, then um, yeah, should keep that in mind. Okay, so I got to do it where all the at the seven is. Come a little bit more scooping because actually it's getting a little harder to get through the mirror, but I think that I think I uh, just scooping up here. Besides, it's not very comfortable on my finger. Yeah. Anyway, so you can hear the uh, hardness. Get the regular nail, and I'm going to do that. The uh, that little two D here. I speak it like <clears throat> like that so I can kill later on looking at a close up better. When you scoop like that, there are a lot of lateral. I mean, you can see the shape in there. It's not. It's really hard to because the edge will deflect or bend upward from when you press it down. So if you hear ting, that means it's a big chunk come off. What I'm looking for is um, yeah, how fractured, but how big. can see there are a lot of mark but they haven't in this edge as you can see here is pretty clean except for some scratches uh, it's a uh, sharpened to about 200 grit diamond uh, I'm using edge pro and you can see half millimeter scale right here so you can see the sharpening bevel is very small. Anyway, after the widow uh, pork rib bone, here the bone contact mark, and you zoom in, it looked like something, but actually under the 30x, it actually, I did not see anything at all. Maybe this, have, so these there look a bad picture, that's a fuzzy. But it's not like microchip or anything, it's just 
there no microchip or, or, or roll or anything like that. Anyway, as you can see, when you go to the nail part here, and the nail, the front side, one side, and then the back side, you see relative to the half millimeter scale, you can see the damage is some, um, it look like a man, uh, it's shoving up for where the cursor is. The point is, it could be, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, the, the thing is in the loop right now, I see if it's chip or a row. Okay, so there's some, there is a micro row along some of the edge here. I can see some of the row. I don't know where, right, like right here. It's sticking out. Anytime you see a shade of darkness, that is a little row, a little bend this way, and they, uh, they block the light. So, so that because the edge pointing towards you. Anyway, compared to the uh, half millimeter here, this thing is a very little, and the amount of force I put on it, it would be um, would be uh, you know, a, a few kilo, or um, you know, say five seven pounds at least on the edge pushing down the able to widow. Overall, I mean, it's you can the edge survive very well with the bone for the nail with this damage. Um, this edge performed pretty well at 15 dps, which is every degree per side, which is thin. Thanks for watching.